Hello everyone, that is my HCC Explorer and today I'm going to show you some of the best apps for benchmarking on your Android. So let's get started. First app that we're going to view is Antutu Benchmark. I, I'm, I know you, you must have heard this name, you know, many times before but here once again guys. Okay, so now this is pretty much a reliable, uh, you know, kind of, it gives pretty much correct score and this is one of the best benchmarking uh, applications available on the Google Play. Now I have already benchmarked my phone and and I got 3290. It's pretty much fine for this phone. Now what I like about this is it gives us detailed score. You see, RAM is 323 though I got a 512 MB. I don't know why. Okay, doesn't matter. Now the CPU indeed zero to the float point. I mean it got many things you know your CPU frequency or SD card read and write speed so that way it gives pretty much an intense score it's pretty much reliable so this was the first one and you can even do uh, instead of the you know t testing everything you can do a custom you can do a custom test you could do it only for the you know if you wanna just find out the SD card IO that is the SD card read write speed and you know yeah only then that one you could just simply take the SD card IO if you along with that you want the 2D and 3D graphics you can you know take those ones so that way you can even go for a custom benchmark now coming to the next tab it's the chart tab now this thing tells you what I mean you know this thing is gonna show you different phones from the top till you know about the last one for the 5000 score okay now so look we got the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the HTC one of course yeah, these are the best Android phones available in the market as of now so it got a 40 to 40,000 score now if you could click on it or you could also click compare it's gonna take you to the to the page where all these specifications are given so that way you could just see them and you know just before buying you could just check it out you know what I mean or else you could just click on compare and there you go boom see it compares your score your detailed score your SD card high speed your 2d your 3d graphics with the phone you have chosen chosen in this case is the Samsung Galaxy S4 so that way you get pretty much a decent and a reliable comparison see it's gonna break good app okay now it even supports a bar chart which is gonna show you you see you know what I mean okay so that way you can even oops sorry you, that way you even get a bar format for the comparison and you see my device is last it's just three to nine zero anyways let's get to the next step and that is build in counter now this is pretty much a basic app pretty much you know uh, just like i mean it's like a poor man's benchmarking tool you could call that i mean if you don't have that much data left to download those hefty apps you could download this one this is approximately 200 something 274 kb i don't remember it exactly but it's something close to that now you could make the cpu count to 1 billion 1 million or you could add in a custom number you know your own choice let it be 5000 oops yeah okay that's 50000 let it be 5000 and start this and see boom it took 0.01 seconds so that way you can compare the phone pretty much easily that is let me see how much it takes to count 1 million and retest you see 0.246 seconds so that way it's pretty much a cool and even this one is kind of a pretty much reliable app to you know download to compare your phones now the next one that I'm gonna show you is boot benchmark now as the name suggests it's an it's benchmark which is gonna calculate the boot time that your phone takes now right now the the, it was the first time when I ran the run this app and it, it took about 40.79 seconds to boot my Android. I don't know if my camera is, you know, kind of zooming in properly, but 
I hope you guys can see right there 40.79 second now there are different kind of you know stuff that's pretty much like the inner and right stuff the, uh, the yellow line shows running in user mode whereas the blue line shows running in kernel mode I hope you guys can understand it at least I at first I just couldn't now this is the uh, you know the RAM allocated to different processes not allocated I mean how much was consumed and you know what all apps consume that and then there's some proc info that the process info there are different processes that are running and which which especially which ran at the starting uh, you know when your phone phone booted up so these are that started first it was in INID of course that would be the first one you know what I mean okay so you could just click on start it will ask for uh, root permission yeah this app needs root permissions you know it, it asks for to re reboot so you need to allow that if you got root and you know it, it is gonna restart your phone and it's gonna display that time right there okay now let's get to the next one it's the Nina mark 1 and 2 now this is mainly for the um this is mainly for the for calculating the fps that's frame per second at which your phone runs now now there's some kind of bug i don't know it's a bug or what the nina mark one shows me 41.3 fps my best run whereas the nina mark two i ran it and it showed merely 16.1 i don't know what the what the difference is but um i mean it's it's pretty much reliable if you want to calculate the uh, the score for the FPS the the frame rate of your phone now I'm running this you see it's pretty much an awesome animation I don't know where they got this from or they made it I don't know but it's pretty much cool one See, it's really an awesome animation, and the scene is pretty much cool. Nothing's on touch. Nothing happened actually. And there you go, 41.6 FPS. That is my probably the best one. Okay, see, 41.6 FPS. That's my best run. Okay, now coming to the next one. Those were the Nina Mark One and Two. It's the Quadrant Standard. Now this is a. Uh, it, this is pretty much similar to Undo, but this is much more famous, or you could say, much more downloaded than the Undo, according to Google Play stats. Okay, it's not me who's making it all up and saying it's the Google Play stats that show that. Okay, now there are two versions. This is the free version. You even get the pro version, where you can run the custom benchmark. This is not available in the pro version. Oops, sorry. Back. run custom benchmark see it says it's available only for the pro version anyways we can run the full benchmark now it shows your cpu your memory your is that that was pretty much the sd card rewrite re speed around me and then your 2d graphics and your 3d graphics so that way it's, it, 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 it also gives pretty much an intense and a reliable score now let it complete i haven't tested it even once after downloading it okay so this is testing I'll skip the video so you don't get this boring part of the video okay guys don't worry So it's easy 1x at the top and there my there's my device 807 okay that's kind of pretty much 
shabby score. Anyways, see, let me see the little browser. Oops, okay. So that was all. That was all, guys. I hope you guys like my video. Do subscribe to it, comment, and if you got any queries, and what else, give it a thumbs up, and there might be a subscribe button on my channel go visit it it will just take about two clicks guys seriously i mean it two clicks one to my channel and one for the subscribe so go guys go ahead come on it really encourages me thanks for watching it stay tuned for more videos i'll meet you in my next video bye bye